Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, I'm gonna show you how to use the wireframe modifier. The wireframe modifier basically transforms a mesh into a wireframe. This is useful for cage models and also really useful in showing off your model's topology. Let's press Shift A and add UV sphere. Then, enter segments 8 and rings 4. Go to modifier menu and add wireframe modifier. We can increase and decrease thickness of wireframes. If the replace original option is enabled, the original mesh is replaced by the generated wireframe. If not, the wireframe is generated on top of it. Let's press 7 key and go to the top view. The even thickness option here ensures that all wireframes are the same thickness. If we disable this option, some of the wires might be different thicknesses. The relative option here determines the edge thickness by the length of the edge. Longer edges will be thicker. Let's go to edit mode and add loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R. Scroll the mouse wheel and increase the number of cuts. We can display the wireframe modifier in edit mode if this option here is enabled. Let's enable the relative option. There we go. As you can see, longer edges look thicker. Press Ctrl Z and undo our mesh back. Press Alt Z to go to X-ray mode. Go to Object Data Properties menu. Then, select the top vertices. Let's add new vertex group and name it as Top Vertices. Then, press Assign button and go back to Modifier menu. Select the vertex group we have just created. Press Alt-Z again to go to solid view. There we go. As you can see, the wireframe modifier only affects vertex group we have just created. You can also change the factor value. Now, let's assign different material for the wireframes. Firstly, disable the replace original option. Let's go to material menu and add two different materials. Then, go to material preview. As you can see, our wireframes has the same color with original mesh. Because our material offset is zero. Let's set this value to one. There we go. Let's add cube object and add wireframe modifier. Press Tab key and go to Edit Mode. Enable Displaying Modifier in Edit Mode. Press 1 key for Front View. Press Alt-Z go to X-Ray Mode. As you can see, when Offset is set to 0, it keeps the original edges in the middle of the wire frame. When we set it to negative 1, 
the wire frame is on the inside of the edges. When we set it to 1, the wire frame is on the outside of those edges. Let's keep offset value is set to 0. Let's select the one face of the cube and delete it. You can see how the wire frame on the open end. We can close that by enabling boundary option. There we go. Let's go back to object mode and add subdivision surface modifier. Set the level viewport to 3 and make shade smooth. Let's enable crease edges option. This option is intended for usage with the subdivision modifier. It is basically used to prevent those edges from being smoothed out by the subdivision surface modifier. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.